All right, so uh, I want you to write uh, this CL, can you see that? CLSI, I call it CLSI, right? But it's really, you ready? The word means Clinical Laboratory Standards Institute. Let me say it again. Clinical Laboratory Standards Institute. Clinical Laboratory Standard Standards S Institute. Ooh. My goodness. Uh, laboratory. <laughs> laboratory Standards Institute. And they are they are the keepers of the order of draw. So we say order of draw, but in short, OOD. They uh, manage it, they manipulate it if they need to change it. They are the big scientist uh, company or organization that looks at the chemicals and says, this is the order in which I want you to draw your tubes. Okay, um, in uh, 2019, you see they did an update, and you can always go to their website and put in CLISI order a draw just to see if anything has changed. Okay, so if you go to your uh, page three, your page three in your um, clinical uh, book, I mean, I'm sorry, your clinical packet then you can see that the order of draw is the same as the CLISI site, okay? So I want to get these tubes. That's what I'm really going for. So that, yes, yes, so. Um, so the first one, so what do I mean by the order of draw? So if the doctor ordered a blood culture and a CBC, I'm just throwing something out there. None of the rest of these. And we know the first thing on, the first one is number one is blood cultures in the order. I can't do this. I can't make this first, okay? And there's reasons for that. Lots of different reasons, but the main reason is because of additives. But for blood cultures, it's for infection, and we don't want to contaminate these in any way, so we need these first, right? We're looking for infection into people, in people, all right? So think about it. If they're looking for infection, we need these to be sterile. So the first set of tubes that you're going to draw, if you need to, will be your blood culture tubes. That's, this is what they look like. i got more to say, way more to say about this, okay? give you some facts about that. So the color yellow that's on your paper, on your page three, do you see it says yellow next to that? Yeah. I want you to put the word sterile. The word sterile, that's what yellow means in phlebotomy usually. It means sterile, that's the sterile tube. There's another sterile tube um, that you get DNA from. That's not in the regular order of draw. The regular order of draw is the tubes that you're regularly going to draw from. But there's a lot of other tubes. What chemicals in? So first in line in your order of draw is called blood cultures. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Blood cultures. We're looking for infection, but I want you to write this word down specifically. We're looking for go. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for bactremia. You have. Uh, yeah. Back, and she's gonna spell it. I'm not gonna spell it that. <laughs> Okay, so that's another big word for bacteria, okay? But you're gonna see that on the test, and I don't want you to get confused. You're like, well, that's bacteria, but it's spelled a little weird, right? That's just a specific test. They're also, they can look at fungus, protozoa, spores, things like that, but for the test, bacteremia is what you're gonna see. Also, I want you to write this word down. Uh, this is the acronym F. U O. No, that's not a bad word. That is fever of unknown origin. What does that mean? People that go into the ER and they have a fever, they're not coughing, nothing's going on. Where is the origin of the infection, right? There's an infection somewhere, but I don't know where, so 
the doctor's going to say, well, let's get some blood cultures. We don't know what's going on. There's no cough. There's no, you know, happened to my son. He was like 15, but he was a track star, runner. Ran five miles a, a day in the morning. And he had a fever. And I, I nothing was wrong. I'm a nurse. I should know, you know, let's give you some antibiotics. <laughs> Not, okay, well, let's take you to the ER. Went to the ER. They couldn't figure anything out. His heart rate was 45, but that was okay because he was a runner, right? So when you run that long, your heart is conditioned to be very slow until you run long. So that ain't it. And so they said, okay, we're gonna have to do some blood cultures. So they did the blood cultures and we went home because they also did a lumbar tap. We'll have to wait for these results because you don't get an instant result on blood cultures. Think about culture. I want you to think about planting something. You know, you plant something to cultivate. You're growing it, right? So they want to grow infection in here from between 24 and 72 hours. So we didn't get the results right away. But in 24 hours, you get your first set of results. Is it Staphylococcus? Is it Pseudomonas? What is it? What type of bacteria is it? So we got a call that next day. And they said, oh, bring him back. Is he okay? Maybe it was two days. It was two days before you had. And they said, yeah. <laughs> and they said, um, is he okay? I said, he's fine. He's back running. He, you don't have a fever anymore. He's gone. They said, well, great, because he had salmonella. And at the time, he was working at the Bronx. Do you all remember that Bronx salmonella scare? Or was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ba- or Boston Mark, one of them. Oops, sorry, Bronx. Uh, Boston Mark. <laughs> but anyway, and I was like, and it was crazy because the CDC calls me first, though. I said, CDC? Who is this? No, this ain't Nicole Pollard. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. The CDC is calling me. I don't know. Anyway, so they were just saying, where do you eat? What, did, what happened? And then when the hospital called, they said, okay, he's fine. He broke it. You know, his body did a good job at getting rid of this by itself. But what they did was, they took these two, and I'm gonna tell you what these two are, because one's anaerobic, one's aerobic. I'm gonna talk to you about that in a minute, okay? They took these two, they had to get two different types, one on this side, okay? Two bottles on one side, one at a time, one, two. And then you wait 30 minutes, or 40, whatever the doctor says, whatever your policy is, and come back and get another set. One, two. So why are we doing that? So they're judging or measuring the amount of bacteria at 10 o'clock <coughs> versus 30 minutes later. How fast is it growing? If it's growing at that rapid rate, that's how we got to treat them, right? So on this paperwork that you get that shows you, uh, is it Staphylococcus or something, it's going to tell you how many... Uh, hundred thousands in there or two millions in there. It's also going to tell you what antibiotic is resistant to and what antibiotic can you treat it with. It's pretty cool. The whole report comes out. That's for the doctor though, right? But in 24 hours you get a a minimum report. At least you can put them on a broad spectrum antibiotic that can kind of take care of a lot of different things. You don't know exactly what it is. Then when the 48 hours comes out, well, they might nail it down to something else, but the highest one on the list you might be alerted to, say it's penicillin. Well, you got to go under that one, right? And they yeah. give it something else. That's a with uh, Trey. When we took him to the doctor, my son had a rotavirus. Oh, yeah. You know that to get back, uh, right. blood cultures because they mm-hmm. had to see that bacteria grow. So we were in there for three days before yeah. we could figure out exactly what it was. What was wrong with him? He had yeah. The rotavirus. Yeah, yeah. rota. Yeah. We still tease him to this day. Yeah, rota. Little Rhoda, come here. No. So, um, so anyway, yeah, in three days you definitely know. But they try if you have a fever or you're going down, they're gonna try to treat you with something pretty quick that they think that might work, right? Okay, so let's go into these. What you see in here is two different substances. One of them that you don't really need to know about, but it's a soybean casein broth. Now I say it's like chicken broth, but it's not. You cannot drink this. <laughs> but when I say broth, it's just liquid, right? Soybean casein broth, but what you really need to know what's in here is the additive. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I should have did. Yeah. Uh, you know, I go all over the place. Yeah, I'm following. Yeah. <laughs> I'm following all right. So the additive inside of here is on page three. What does it say your additive is on page three? What is that word? Sodium, sodium polyethanol, sulfate, SPS, there you go. There you go. So SPS is in here. That's the additive. Each one of these tubes is going to have an additive. One of them doesn't. Only one on this table doesn't. But every single one of these tubes has a chemical in it to do something. All right? I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to take it slow so we can all get this. Please, if you don't get something, oh, Miss Nikki, I don't know, get that one. Bring it back. Bring it back around. Okay? So, I'm going to be asking, we're going to go back and I'm going to be asking you these questions. Okay, what is the additive in the blood culture bottles? What are you guys going to say? SPS. SPS. All right, good job. So, that there are two types of chemicals that are in these bottles, if I want to broadly talk about them. But one of them, that SPS is called an anticoagulant. Write that down. Anti SPS is an anticoagulant. We're going to talk about what that is. SPS is an anticoagulant. Anti means not or against or no, right? I'm anti something. You're against it, right? So, or none. Coagulant means to clot. Coagulant means to clot. We're talking about blood clotting. So, if I put these two words together, that means not to clot. Am I right? Anticoagulant means not to clot. Yeah, just make it easy. Not to clot. <laughs> Doesn't clot. Whatever you want to call it. So SPS is an anticoagulant, which, let's make it the short term blood thinner. Anticoagulants equal blood thinner. An anticoagulant thins the blood. Blood thinner thins the blood. It is liquidy, not clotty, like this. You see that? That's clotted. It's gummy. If I took this out, it's like bubble gum. I'd chew it, but I wouldn't. See that? Look, oh, hear it? Yeah, it's a big, thick piece of gum. This is not thin, <laughs> okay? That's not thin blood. So what I'm saying is if SPS is in here and it's a blood thinner, my blood won't clot in here. It won't clot. It won't do like that. Even if it melts down to the bottom, let me show you something. Melts down, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, this one has an anticoagulant in it. Looks like a clot at the bottom though, doesn't it? But this has a blood thinner in it. So it will separate, but if I do this, it turns back forward. There's no clot in here. Yeah, we did a heparin today, if you wanted to. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, yeah. So they had a heparin tube today, and I'll come back to this in a minute, because we do have to talk about green. But did you see the difference between my clotted and my anti-clotted? Okay, so again, my blood will not clot in here because it has SPS. Which is A. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Coagulant. I can't talk to <laughs> That's all right. So I'm going to still talk about these. There's still more stuff, okay? There are two types. The reason why you got to get two uh, different ones. Mm, that's all right. Yeah, you, nobody can see. I got to change now if you want to come all the way up here in the corner. Nobody can see 
I mean, I don't think I can see. Yeah. All right. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Vonda's sister, She's right? Yeah. 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 How's Vonda doing? She's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, there are two different types of bottles. Okay. And remember I said you got to get two on this side and then two on this side because they're different. One is an anaerobic bottle, which you can't tell from the outside, but you got to read it. And then you have, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, which one are you doing? Oh, no, no, it's okay. Are you doing aerobic or anaerobic? Anaerobic. Anaerobic. Okay, so anaerobic. Anaerobic means there that, okay, let's take for instance, okay. Yeah, anaerobic means that it likes the darkness. It doesn't like air. The bacteria inside of your, or inside of your body does not like air, does not like oxygen. I say air. So picture a boil between your buttocks. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> Maybe not picture it, but you know. Uh, in between there, it's kind of dark, isn't it? And it grows, Staphylococcus likes to grow in dark places. So we might find out that they're staph from this bottle because that kind of bacteria doesn't like air, right? That, that's why we do the next bottle, aerobic. This one loves air, it's like a plant outside. It love, you know there's some plants that like the, the light and there's other plants that like the dark? That's like bacteria. Some like the light, some like the dark, some like oxygen, some don't. So to cover it all, we get two of them. Okay, and the one that we usually draw first is the one without air, Anna. Anna means without, anything that you really put an A in front, like an Anna means without, so without air. Anna is without air, doesn't like air, doesn't want air, it likes the dark. Anna likes the dark. Make it a statement, Anna likes the dark. She's crazy, she likes being dark. I know that sounded scary, huh? Mm -hmm. Anna likes the dark. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never forget that, I don't think. Okay. But aerobic loves the sun and the oxygen. Likes air. Air. Think about aerobic air. You right. You right. <laughs> aerobic air. You fast. Aerobic air. Think about it. Aerobic, right? That was COVID. Yeah. COVID, COVID was everywhere. It liked the light and the dark. <laughs> and every color cream, it did not discriminate. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to recap over to you in a minute. But so, which one I say we draw first? Anna. 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 <laughs> Anna. And Anna likes the dark, dark. Uh, with no oxygen, right? Just no oxygen. Just dry. Just dry. <laughs> All right, but I need to show you something. There is a now. Oh, oh, I never replaced them. It's okay. It, it's, okay. It's, it's okay. I'll show them. I drained the whole arm. This is a butterfly. It just flies away. <laughs> it's got some ridges on the outside. Bevel up. Stick. If you got to draw, was it? No, I forgot the <laughs> tourniquet thing. Uh, we'll give you another one. It's okay. All right. So I have a question. Well, we'll wait till we. Yeah, we'll wait. Yes, go ahead. They gonna, it's gonna look. Them bottles gonna look exactly like this, no matter where you at. No, 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 no. And I want to, and that's gonna be for all of these tubes. It, it depends on the lab, the company you bought them from. They, they're skinny bottleneck, there's fat bottleneck, but they're always going to have a bunch of juice in it. Okay? What, Is it always going to be in a bottle? Yeah. Oh, always going to be in a glass bottle. Okay. Uh, they're going to look like champagne bottles or tequila bottles or something like that. They're always going to be in a glass bottle. And they're made differently. Some of them have charcoal at the bottom where they put them in this little uh, thing and they turn and turn and this light flashes on them so it can grow it faster grow the bacteria faster. It's all kind of neat technology with these these bottles. Uh, but they have analyzers for these. So I should use it. Yeah, yeah, so. Um, 
Remember I said Anna goes first? Mm -hmm. Well, didn't we say Anna doesn't like air? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yes. Well, what if you have to use a butterfly? What is in this tube? Yeah. Air. 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 So if I stuck myself in a, and blood came through and then I stuck it in here, that is not going to work. I'm going to kill all the bacteria in here, right? So what I'm going to do is take what we call this our throwaway tube because there's no additive in it, nothing in it. It's just a no, it's a red tube technically, but there's nothing in it. Yeah. So what we would do is we would get this blood going, right? Push this through and get the blood in this tube so there's no more air in the line. Does that make sense? No more air in the line. Then we take this out and we'll pop this in. Got it? We took the air out. Yeah, mm -hmm. we took the air out. There's nothing but blood in there now, right? So that's how we do that if we have to use a butterfly, <coughs> okay? So you would do like a full line? Like Absolutely, you need to make that blood go in this tube to make sure we don't even want to get like right there because there could be still more air in it, right? Mm -hmm. But if we know what's in this tube, we know all the air is out the line. Okay, all right, um, let me get rid of this before I stick myself. All I want you to write the department that this would go to. Department is gonna be microbiology. Yeah, yeah. You know, I had this student bring me this for free. She just brought me, she said, isn't that nice? Yeah, see, that's a blessing, that's right. All right, uh, microbiology department. Microbiology department, write that down. Oh, you guys already did that? Okay, department, blood culture department. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, Shay, put department, not blood culture. Put department. Yeah. I mean, it's still the same, you know, it's, but I want department on there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you just, department is uh, shortened up like that. You don't have to write the whole word out. Uh, Microbot, so um, that's the department it's going to go to. Um, and then the other thing is in, that I'm going to talk to you about on these is inversions. To invert a tube, meaning, that, what's the chemical in here? What's the additive? SPF. So, and we got to put blood in here too, right? Yeah. And people ask me, how much blood should we put in there? Put blood in there until it stops. If it stops, you're good. You're filled up. You have all that broth in there, so all you need is to the sec up to the first line or the second line. So when you're when the blood stops flowing, that's over with. That's why I like to turn my tube this way when I'm drawing so I can see the blood in and not this way. I can't see the blood, so I turn my tube, okay? Um, so invert, let me show you how you invert. You don't do this because if you do this, this yes, is, you are gonna destroy blood vessels. What do we say that's called? It's an H um, word. Oh. Hemolysis, hemolysis, yep, hemolysis. If I shake these, I'm destroying blood vessels. So this is how you do it in a figure eight, this way. Yep, exactly, exactly. So that's it. And you need to invert eight to 10 times, eight to 10 times. Now, like she said, are all the bottles the same? No, sometimes they're shorter, less broth in it. So it might be five to, ten, five to six times, but Quite naturally, it's usually eight to 10 times. What do we do? We follow our facility policy wherever we are, and we make sure we're using the right vial and the right inversions, okay? All the tubes will be like that. Mm -hmm. No shake. No, no shaky, shaky. Yeah, I put that in parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So all of this motion. Uh -huh. Figure eight motion. And that's a test question too. Most of the stuff I'm telling you is, uh, if I say test question, then it's a test question. Microbiology is a test question. Eight to 10 inverts is a test question. Uh, all, all the little, yeah, all the little notes I'm giving you is test questions, okay? If she doesn't write it down, it's normally not a test question. All right, let's go back. First in your order of draw is what? 
and usually you have two of them. What are the difference between the two? One is and aerobic lights air or doesn't like air? Aerobic likes, likes air. Very good. Very good. And if I have to use a butterfly tube and I have to use my anna first, what am I going to do first? Throw away the tube. Put the air out of the tube. What a throwaway tube. Very good. All right. Uh, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I did bacteremia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. What? I just answered the question. <laughs> what test will you, what's one of the tests that you might test for on here? Okay. <laughs> okay. And um, how many times do we invert? Eight to ten. Eight to ten, ten times. Sometimes maybe five to six, depending on. You are listening. What does the color yellow represent? Sterile. Sterile. All right. And uh, what is the additive in here? Can I shake these vials? No. Why? What do we call that H word? Hemolysis. You can say lysis or lysis. The word lysis or lysis means destruction of. And then hemo is red blood cells. Destruction of the red blood cells. That's it. Lysis, lysis. It's kind of like some doctors say antibiotic and some say antibiotic. It's like tomato, tomato. You know what I mean? So, Can you scroll back some? Yeah, right. where are you? Uh, right. At the top? Yes, please. SPS is a anticoagulant or coagulant? Anticoagulant. Does anticoagulants thin the blood or clot them? Clot them. Thin. Thin. We want thin blood, right? I want to have thin blood in here. They can't have clotted blood looking for infection. They got to have some thin blood. What do we call thin blood? I didn't tell you this yet. But this one, you're not going to spin down. And I'll, it'll make sense a little bit later in the other ones. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I was trying to write it down. But okay. I'm actually taking a video too, you guys. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> you see me in the video? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whole blood. Oh, whole blood. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So if, it, if it's thin and we don't spin it down and separate it like you've seen that other one. Remember that one I shook? You can go up, Sharon. Uh, then it's whole blood. That means I'm giving them, I'm putting this in a bag, I drew the blood, I'm putting this in a bag, I'm not spinning down, I'm sending it to the lab. That's called whole blood. It's not separated, okay? That's whole blood. Which will make sense in a minute, because I'm gonna show you separated. What does F-U-O mean? They are doing it, ain't they? Okay, we're gonna mosey on down to the next I'll one. I'll let you to, uh, catch up. After yeah. Done, okay? Yeah, let's go to the next one so I can mosey on to the house. <laughs> okay, okay. Y'all gonna get your sticks and go, huh? All right, so according to Clissi or your paper on the third page, what is next in the order of draw? Light blue. Very good. And so now I'm gonna tell you. Huh? Oh, okay. Order draw. Order draw. Remember these guys? Right? Two different teams, too. Yeah, sure. You notice the difference, the physical difference, and I'm glad you said that. Yeah. You know, when COVID hit, 
There was a lot, we couldn't find these tubes. Me and Shay ran a lab at that time and we couldn't find these tubes. Why? Because a lot of people got heart conditions yeah. during COVID. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. A lot of things went on with the brain and the heart. Yeah, but anyway, so this tube, uh, just like we talked about these first two tubes, you guys are gonna tell me what uh, chemical is in here, what additive is in here. Sodium. Very good. And some people say citrate, citrate, again, tomato, tomato, okay? Citrate or citrate. I'm going to come around because I want you to see that there's liquid at the bottom. Do you see that? That is the sodium citrate at the bottom. Do you see that? It's like liquid at the bottom. A little bit of liquid at the bottom. See the liquid at the bottom? Okay. Liquid at the bottom. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now that's what I'm about to talk about. This is the one part additive, and then we need to fill this tube up with blood to make it nine parts blood. Right? See that liquid at the bottom? Let me show you. This part, look at all. Uh, so, You have this is the only two that they're gonna super reject you if you do not fill this up and you mess this up. Oh wow. Why? And I'll tell you why in a minute. How many does it tell you how many inversions you have on that page? Three to four inversions. Three to four inversions. This is the only two that has that least of, uh, of inversions. And can I shake it? No. You still can't shake it. Right? Never can shake them. Two. Huh? Three to four. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This one has to be filled up, doesn't it? Nine parts blood, one part uh, chemical at the bottom. Like when they do bleach and they say do ten part, you know, nine parts uh, water and one part bleach, and that's how you clean things. You're not supposed to pour bleach on stuff. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. well, you're supposed to dilute. You're supposed to dilute it. So like a cap full, you know, and and you think about that cap full. Now you need ten more caps of water. I mean nine more caps of water. Does that make sense? To make ten. That's what one part out of nine means. Yeah. <laughs> out of ten, sorry. All right. Department. Coagulation department. Coagulation department. Sodium citrate is an anticoagulant. The additive is an anticoagulant. Does it thin the blood or clot the blood? Thin it. Thin it. Very good. Thin it. Sodium citrate, this little chemical at the bottom, is going to keep that blood nice and thin. <coughs> She's saying, what she's saying is they're studying how the blood clots in the body. The, the lab is looking for how the blood clots in the body. I want you to write the word, because sometimes people are on blood thinners, aren't they? Have you ever My known some needs. people? You know, what'd you say? My oh, see, he's on a blood thinner. And, and the oldest kind of blood thinner that uh, we usually have, uh, I think the E, take the E off. Oh, A and T. Yeah, A and T. There we go. Okay. I'm like, okay. Okay, so Shay, put down Coumadin. Yep. Just a second. Y'all heard of Coumadin that before. The first one mm -hmm. here. Like, yep. That was, and that's what they do. They usually start you off with the old school one, then they yep. put you on some Zarelto or something that's later. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, uh oh. Hello. No. You know what? Hello. Okay. Is room for me? Yeah, go ahead and sit. You know what? I'm going to move my little operation up here. Y'all can see that thing. It's only a little. 
You're tall. You are tall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we, we can always go back over those notes, but I want you to start where we're at right now. If you can get out page three in your venipuncture packet. And then, um, so we left off on Coumadin, right? Coumadin. Oh. Y'all are doing the attendance because I put a withdrawal date in there. I'll let you guys get that attendance real quick. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to put the page on it. Yeah. You have to put the time, not the drink. We all just put the time. Okay. <laughs> 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 